Hello, ค่ะ Welcome to Hot Thai Kitchen. I am super excited about today's recipe because it is actually my own unique creation. So you won't find this dish anywhere unless you make it. So I'm making a chilled tofu and herb salad. Super refreshing, great for the summer that is coming very soon, and it is also vegetarian. So let's get started. Let's take a look at our star here. Now I'm using soft tofu, which always comes in a tub. You can also use silken tofu, which is a little softer. Trim off the edges here, so I've got nice clean cubes. If you're not trying to make this pretty, you don't have to trim it. Now I recommend using soft, soft tofu for this. I won't recommend anything firmer because it's chilled. It's a summery dish. It's got that sort of Ice cream softness, you know, firm tofu just doesn't work well for this. So I'm just gonna do six cubes. Now you will have to work around the shape of your tofu, and ta-da! Okay, that's a little bit uneven, but that's okay. And you can use any sort of trimmings of your soft tofu in a shake, a smoothie, add some extra creaminess and also calcium because calcium is in the in what they use to set the tofu. So tofu is a naturally is naturally high in calcium. So I'm just going to gently place these onto my plate, which always makes me nervous. I'm happy with five because when it comes to plating, odd numbers are always better looking than even numbers. And this one will just be my snack or my refill. The dressing is pretty much the standard Thai salad dressing, sweet, salty, sour. Except because this is vegetarian. Instead of using fish sauce, I'm going to use soy sauce. But if you are not trying to make this vegetarian, you can go ahead and use some fish sauce. However, I find fish cho fish josh fish josh to generally be a little bit saltier than soy sauce. So, you know, you may want to adjust the proportion a little bit. So lime juice, fresh lime juice. It's so important that you use fresh and never bottled for this, especially for something as light. The flavor is really going to show. Some palm sugar. Chop it quite finely because you want to make sure it dissolves easily in this dressing. Now, before you do anything else, you want to make sure all your sugar is dissolved. You don't want chunks of sugar when you're biting into the tofu, or you know that doesn't sound like it would be bad. It actually sounds good. <laughs> Now I need some spiciness. There's no such thing as a Thai salad that is not. Spicy. So I'm using Thai fresh chilies. You can take out the seeds if you want to, you know, make it a little milder. And now all my fresh herbs. I'm gonna start with some shallots. Okay, get some oniony flavor going. Lemongrass, that nice exotic citrus smell. You want to make sure because we are eating the lemongrass that you slice it very, very finely. Otherwise, it'll be uncomfortable to eat. All right. Fresh greens. I've got three different herbs I'm going to use today. Sort of the basic Thai salad herbs, and those are some green onion, cilantro. Again, I don't recall ever seeing a Thai salad that does not contain cilantro. And mint, because it's a summer, because I love mint in the summer, I'm going with mint. But you could do Thai basil as well if you want. All right. I need some crunch, and I'm gonna go with cucumber. You could also do corn or something else, but I think cucumber works really well with the mint and the crunch contrast with the softness of the tofu. Okay, and I want nice cubes, little little cubes. And just for added color, I'm going to add just a few little brunoises of bell pepper. And when I do that, I like to remove this sort of inside bit. And that makes more beautiful little cubes. And brunoise is just a fancy way of saying tiny little cubes. There we go, so cute. And now I just have to stir it up, break up the little pieces of shallots that like to stay together in those layers. Give it a taste. Mmm. Ooh, perfect. All right, ready to assemble. Okay, so if you've cut tofu and you've let it sit for a while, you notice that it will have some water pooling out, and that's totally normal. If that happens, just go in with a piece of paper towel and absorb some of that water because you don't want to dilute your dressing. So you don't want to cut it way too far ahead of time. It's a bit of an unstable gel, so the water will just keep seeping out. Just a little bit of this salad or salsa. It's kind of like a, a little salsa. On top of each piece of tofu, and just let the rest slide down. 
And the rest of this, you just wanna drizzle it around the tofu, cause trust me, you're gonna want all of it. So it's like little jewels around the tofu. And as a final little garnish, I like to use some black sesame seeds and just sprinkle over each one. And that is as easy as it gets. Now, I normally eat this with rice because I eat everything with rice, but it's also really good on its own. Mm. I just love that texture. It's so soft and silky, it practically dissolves in my mouth, but that crunchy cucumber keeps it very fresh. Mm. So good, it's so refreshing. I hope you give this a try for the summer or if it's not summer where you live, try it anyway. <laughs> and the recipe is on hotthaikitchen.com. If you make it, send me a photo through Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, it doesn't matter where. I love seeing your photos and I will see you next time for your next delicious Thai meal. <laughs> the shallots are making me cry. <laughs> I need a moment. <laughs>